Hi Capricorn, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly love reading for April 16th through the 22nd. This is for the sign of Capricorn. Usually my readings are love readings for people that are needing it. If you don't need it, then you probably shouldn't watch the reading. Um, so anyway, I'm going to get two of these oracle cards and then we will break into that tarot deck. These will be revealed at the end, at least what, unless one of these flips over. That's more than one. It's a whole stack, so we're not going to go with that. Here we go. Capricorn, Capricorn, the 16th of April through the 22nd. What do they need to know? Oh, we have several. We're not going to do it since they all, since four of them flipped over. We don't want to do that. We only want to get one. Oh, son of a bitch. There we go. We got one of them. So we're going to go with that. We're going to let it be flipped over. It says, release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Hmm. <clears throat> Capricorn. Release your ex can mean several things. Maybe it's starting over with someone new and you're finally really releasing the ex. Or it can mean that you're with somebody that you need to let go of. I mean, it can mean so many different things. What do we have for the sign of Capricorn for this week of the 16th through the 22nd? Maybe it's time to really, really move on with someone new. Yeah, it's coming out of darkness, okay? It is. It's coming out of the darkness, coming out of a difficult period. It's like, you know, it's the end of a difficult time. You deserve more, right? You know that you deserve more. You know, you're, you're going to have to trust, okay? You're going to have to trust again. It feels like you may have your guard up in regards to maybe letting somebody else into your life. Maybe you are you feel like, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I can trust. I feel like you're on the edge. You know, you're probably on edge because maybe there's somebody new or there's new excitement or something. And you're on the edge because you've been through a lot, right? Somebody has been through a lot. They may feel like they're not deserving. Maybe you feel like you don't deserve. I don't know. Yes, this is a time of hope and inspiration, not despair. Don't let fear hold you back. Don't let your insecurities hold you back, Capricorn. Okay? Don't lose your faith in the future. Just because maybe an ex or somebody in your past has made you feel less than worthy or something. I don't know. Whatever this is, you've learned a lot. You've learned a lot. You've been through a lot. You have a lot of life experience behind your back. Don't lose hope. Don't lose hope. Don't let this past person hold you back. Whatever, if it didn't work out with them, there is a reason for it. Okay? Let go of the insecurities. Okay? You need to have confidence, courage, strength, willpower, discipline. You also need to let go. Let go of insecurities. And this is a clear message. It's pretty clear here. You're letting insecurities hold you back thinking you're not deserving. That ended for a reason. Whatever ended, ended for a reason. 
okay? Don't let it hold you back. You may be feeling empty inside, okay? I feel like somebody that is watching this, this will not be for everybody, is feeling like they're not good enough. I'm not worthy. You know, you have a lot to offer. You do have a lot to offer. You are be you guys are at some sort of change, okay? You're at a crossroads where your life is changing. You guys have you're receiving something that is good, okay? Whatever is happening is bringing you closer to what is destined to be. Destiny is is coming coming at you, okay? Be confident. Have courage. Let it happen. Be happy. Good luck. Something very good is happening. This is good luck. Something is happening. It's the end of struggles. It really is. Happiness is on the way. Be open to it. Let your guard down. Don't let insecurities hold you back. I feel like there's a faded, fated event that is changing your course for the better. But you're scared. You are, this is the crossroads. You guys are at a crossroads. There's a new door opening. Do, are, do you dare to go through it? This could be happening very suddenly. I feel as though you're going to be called to face your fears, Capricorn. What's your biggest fear? What's your biggest fear? I think your biggest fear is within yourself that you're not good enough. I think a new door is opening or will open for you or has opened for you. And the, the thing that is holding you back is your own insecurities. Fear of getting hurt again. Yeah. You guys don't want a disaster, right? You're trying to avoid a disaster by closing yourself off. Is that what's going on? Unable to offer romance or, or wanting to, I do want to offer romance, but I am scared to death to do so. I'm scared to accept this love for fear that you might have a hidden agenda. I don't want to be tricked. You're being called to take a risk. Don't be closed off. Don't close yourself off from love, Capricorn, because of fear of disaster. Whatever broke down in, in the past was meant to break down. It was a blessing in disguise because it wasn't destined and faded. You have a new destiny, a new faded path opening up right in front of you in which you are being called to take a risk and step into the unknown with faith. Don't bring the past with you. I feel like you guys have a lot of fear. Maybe you just need to step back and really focus Focus. What what do you want? What do you want? And if whatever when you come up with whatever you want, go for it. I 
I feel like many of you are really scared that whoever is coming into your life has a hidden agenda. But you're being called to move on and absolutely take this risk. Don't let your own self-esteem and lack of confidence hold you back. Those are just negative thoughts. They're thoughts. You have a potential for a lot of happiness here if you would stop criticizing the situation and yourself. I feel like you're afraid of commitment. You're af and, and, and you're afraid to get in a commitment for fear that this person will not follow through. I feel like you guys are being offered the truth from whoever you're dealing with. This person that you're dealing with is, is very honest and truthful. You're being offered a new security, a new beginning, something that leads to something very solid, stable, and secure. Don't let your ego get in the way. Don't let fear get in the way. Just because whatever this ex did that didn't lead to wish fulfillment doesn't mean that the next person is not going to be honest with you and doesn't lead to something solid. I feel like you have an opportunity with someone new that is very honest and solid. Could be another Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, another Earth sign. I feel like you are dealing with somebody who is very loyal. Don't let the past hurt leave you insecure and hold you back. I feel like you could be dealing with a Taurus, okay? Could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius as well, or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Either way, you're letting somebody who was conceited and greedy and ruthless and unreasonable hinder your progress with someone new. Cut those energies out of your life. Okay? Don't let your own lack of self-confidence and self-worth again hold you back you are worthy regain your focus regain your concentration and release this X that has held you back it's time to heal pull those swords out of your heart and move forward So I feel like this is a week of opportunity. You deserve more than what you were given in the past. Are you ready to accept it? Are you ready? Are you ready to move on truly and let insecurities go? You are being given the opportunity to heal and start something new. These are both new beginnings. Start something new with somebody that can lead to something very solid, stable, secure, and honest. The option is yours. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy and start the healing process. Or keep healing. Don't stay stuck. serenity the most important relationship you can have is with yourself this is a time to honor nurture and love yourself more by seeking out and removing any negative feelings 
and emotions that are left over from yesterday. Don't let past issues and resentments interfere with your serenity today. This this is great. Let the past go. Let it go. Move forward without it. So Capricorn, I feel like this is a week of moving on. Going for what you deserve and realizing what you deserve. Relighting the fire within you. And not bringing the past. Perhaps it's even a week of just soul searching and healing. And, and renewal and rebirth with that Empress card and the and the Hermit card. Maybe it's just a week of introspection, of really focusing on the future. Setting goals for the future. And releasing all the insecurities that whoever this person was brought to your life. And sometimes that takes a lot of alone time to release them. So I feel like this is a week of moving forward in a positive direction towards something honest, truthful, stable, and secure. So Capricorn, this is what I have. I think that you guys are headed in the right direction very, very quick, quick, quickly, if I can talk. Don't look back. Don't lose hope. The future looks bright. With that wheel of fortune, good luck, good things, destiny is on its way. A beautiful new chapter is on its way for you with that wheel of fortune. Don't let anybody, anybody else's actions hold you back. Talk to you later.